My name is Ayush Desai, and today my presentation will be on stem cell therapy and its application to global health. Before we begin, I'd like to give you a little bit of background on myself. I'm going into senior year at Beckman High School in Irvine, California. I'm currently doing research at Medtronic Neurovascular, which focuses on stroke care and prevention. I also take part in volunteering in my city. One thing about me that I'm very passionate about is soccer and football, and I enjoy watching sports a lot. I'm interested in majoring in biotechnology, and I want to further my learning in the health sciences. Before we get into stem cell therapy, I'd first like to establish what a stem cell actually is. In the human body, stem cells are the building block of all the types of cells in our body, such as muscle and bone cells, and have the capability to differentiate into several types of cells depending on the needs of the body. When new tissue is formed, stem cells transform into a specific type of cell that can be used by the body. For the purposes of this presentation, you can define a stem cell as any type of cell that is undifferentiated, can self-replicate, and can be used to create other types of cells. Moving on to the actual process, stem cell therapy is the transplant of specifically sourced stem cells through injection into whatever areas are causing pain. Since stem cells have the ability to differentiate into a wide variety of cells, stem cell therapy can theoretically be used for almost any injury. Once stem cells arrive at the affected site, they begin to multiply and differentiate into healthy cells that are able to replace damaged cells in the body. Although stem cell therapy is a very personalized form of treatment, it still has an extreme relevance to the field of global health simply due to the wide range of treatments available such as neurological disorders, soft tissue injuries, cancer treatments, and more. Stem cell therapy can also help to ease conditions that lack effective treatments such as rare diseases in foreign countries. Instead of trying to find an individual cure for every condition across the world, stem cell therapy shows promise in finding one solution that can be used in a variety of different ways. Stem cells can be broken down into four different categories. Oligopotent stem cells are stem cells that can only produce a few types of cells. A subcategory of this is unipotent cells, which can only differentiate into a single type of cell. Multipotent stem cells produce a slightly larger range of cells and commonly are the source of muscle and bone tissue. Pluripotent and totipotent stem cells can produce any type of cell, with the exception that pluripotent cells cannot form cells found in an embryo. One popular source of stem cells for treatment is adult soft tissue such as bone marrow. Some benefits to sourcing stem cells from adults are that they are less likely to be rejected from the body because they come from the patient themselves. Furthermore, they can be sourced in different regions of the body. The downside to using adult stem cells are that the collection procedure is generally very costly and the collected cells are usually oligopotent, meaning they cannot be used for a wide variety of treatments. One alternative to using adult stem cells is embryonic stem cells. Embryonic stem cells are totipotent and can be used to create any tissue. I won't go too much into the detail about the collection process, but it is important to know that they are sourced from developing embryos, similar to the process of abortion. This brings up significant ethical concerns and is one of the major reasons as to why stem cell therapy is controversial. Because of this, scientists have found two ethically sound sources of stem cells that can be used in many cases. IPSCs are induced pluripotent stem cells, which are adult cells that are genetically modified to behave more like embryonic cells. Since this process is very costly, an alternative is umbilical cord stem cells. Multipotent stem cells can be found in cord blood and tissue and are considered the gold standard for stem cell therapy because they are donated by mothers at childbirth and can be used as in a wide variety of therapies. Now let's get into the applications of stem cell therapy. The most clinically studied form of stem cell therapy is the use of hematopoietic stem cells found in cord blood or bone marrow to treat several blood cancers such as leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma. Stem cell cancer treatments have been FDA approved and have been shown to improve the recovery of the body during chemotherapy, and in some cases, they have been shown to attack cancer cells by forming white blood cells. Another application of stem cell therapy is the restoration of soft tissue. Stem cell therapy has been used in UFC athletes with severe soft tissue injuries and has proven to have a positive effect on recovery. In this form of therapy, mesenchymal stem cells from cord tissue are transplanted into sites of ligament tears, fractures, and inflammation, 
and have been shown to increase the speed of healing significantly. Clinical studies have also shown that stem cells can be used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. The last significant application of stem cells is regarding neurological disorders. Stem cell therapy has the ability to replace damaged neurons and has been shown to help heal spinal cord injuries. Furthermore, stem cell therapy has been proven to have the potential to aid in Parkinson's, ALS, and MS. As part of my research at Medtronic Neurovascular, I have found that the use of stem cells to replenish dead brain cells has the potential to revolutionize stroke care. Before we move on, I want to recap what we have gone over so far. There are many types of stem cells and they can be sourced in a variety of different ways. Stem cells are injected to the body by the bloodstream or directly into an injury site and begin to differentiate into healthy cells that promote healing in the body. The ability of stem cell therapy to treat many types of diseases and injuries highlights its strong relevance in global health. So you may ask, what's the catch? The problem with the current state of stem cell therapy is that it is not offered in many developed nations due to only cancer treatments being FDA approved. Furthermore, it is very expensive to harvest stem cells unless they are donated or sourced directly from the patient's body, which is often a tedious process and is very expensive to complete because it requires you to go under anesthesia. Lastly, stem cell therapy is relatively early in development, and despite its extremely high success rates, it has not been fully studied. Many studies have been done on rats and haven't been fully done on humans in a true clinical study. Fortunately, there is a solution. Global health leaders around the world need to see stem cell therapy as a way to truly revolutionize medicine and encourage research and development on the topic. Furthermore, we should create organizations to collect donated umbilical cords from birthing mothers throughout the world. Once stem cell therapy is FDA approved, I truly believe it will not just be used in America, but in every nation throughout the world to improve the lives of the earth itself. Thank you.